Hello everybody, it's me, Mr. Pete again. Um, so this assignment is going to be a relatively quick one and I'm going to consider this to be extra credit, so it's totally optional. You do not have to do this, um, but if you want to increase your grade, uh, then you definitely should do this. So um, this is the road sign assignment and all I want you guys to do is choose any road sign that you want. I'm choosing this pe uh, pedestrian um, sign right here and I'm gonna recreate this so I have this image off to the side uh, and then I'm gonna work right here on my on my page um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to try to mimic this diamond shape so of course I'm gonna go to my shapes and here is the diamond shape right here so I'm gonna go ahead and create that um, and it looks about like that that looks pretty good um, and then you know the inside color is this sort of like yellowish orange and then there's a nice thick black border line that goes all around that so uh, I'm gonna start with that orangey color and turn that um, about that um, and then I'm gonna go over to my border make sure that's black I'm gonna go to this one where it says border weight click that one I'm gonna hit let's see 12 uh, let's go 16. So yeah, so now I have that nice thick border um, for what I'm looking for. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to trace just the body part right here. I'm going to use that uh, tool that you guys used the other day, the polyline tool. Um, again, this doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but I'm going to sort of trace uh, this person using the polyline tool and remember when you're using the polyline tool you really want this to be one big line you don't want to have it broken up into a bunch of smaller lines um, when I was seeing the project done uh, the other day I was noticing that students were um, using a bunch of mini lines you want this to be one big line and again if you notice it kind of snaps right towards the end there and once I do that it becomes one big shape and then I can take my arrow tool and I can drag just that shape right onto my uh, my other thing now of course this is black so I want to turn this black as well I'll go over to my fill color make that black and then make sure my border color is transparent so when I click off, I just have that shape. And it's that kind of blocky shape, um, which I'm kind of looking for. And the last thing I want to do is I want to put the person's head. And that's really easy. I go to my shapes. I find the circle. And then I'm going to make like a little circle just like this. Um, and again, that is going to be filled in black. And the border will be transparent. Um, and I kind of want to make this a little bit smaller so I'm going to kind of shorten it just a little bit and then I'm going to take my arrow tool and I'm going to place it it's sort of closer to the body like this all right and so when I look um, look at when I look away from it, it these two are pretty similar and then I can click this and hit my delete button on the keyboard um, and the other thing too is that this is off to the side on the page. I can actually, with the arrow tool selected, I can select the entire thing just like that and move it over. And I can have it centered. Remember those red lines I was showing you before? Now it's centered right in the middle of the page and done. So um, you can choose any um, sign that you want that you would see on the road. Um, and then you can go ahead and kind of create that for yourself and then go ahead and turn that in and I am here for you guys so please 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 um, definitely reach out to me if you have any questions and again this is extra credit so you do not have to do this but if you want to increase your grade you should all right uh, happy arting bye everyone